don't listen to this. This is a story about a guy and his wife who thinks that he is pretty fly. He got a couple of dogs and he really loves them and a pretty cute kid and he looks just like Holla. him. It has been one hell of a morning. Heather is very upset. The other day, last week, she was in a car accident. May 3rd. May 3rd. She was in a car accident. So, May 3rd, she was, Heather was in a car accident, and um, the person who hit her was this young woman, young lady, woman, girl, bitch, whatever you want to call her, who claims her mother moved to Ecuador. So now the their insurance company can't, can't get a hold of the actual owner of the vehicle because the mother owns the vehicle and the vehicle was unregistered and the girl is in was pleading with the cops she's like listen to me i'm a student and I, i'm trying i'm trying to get an education here just help me out blah 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 so it's been a hell of a morning we've been running around getting the police log and we've been calling the insurance company and they've been calling us back and nobody seems to want to just pay for what we pay them for the insurance companies sit back with their feet up in an air-conditioned office and everybody pays them these hundreds of dollars every month, every six months, whatever it is that you do. And when it comes down to it, nobody actually wants to make good on what we're paying them for. That woman pays insurance on her car. Her insurance company says they're gonna deny the claim by the 11th of May unless they talk to the mother, which is the owner of the car, or unless they get a police report. The police report takes six weeks to get if the insurance company requests it. So we took it upon ourselves to go and pay the $12 to get the police report and submit it to the insurance company because we need to get this taken care of because this is ridiculous. The point of this rant, just pay your bills. Just, just do what you're supposed to do because everybody's losing faith in everybody. Humanity will crash if everybody gives up and just looks for the easy way out. The American dream is about working hard and getting what you work for. Getting paid for what you do, working hard at it. If you want to live the American dream, then work hard and prove it. That's the point. Right, honey? But people suck, and I've already lost faith in humanity. Heather lost faith in humanity a long time ago long because time ago. people when suck. Service, <laughs> and then uh, you lose we went humanity. to Kinko's to, Fe uh, to FedEx. Yeah, went to Kinko's to fax over the police log to the insurance company, and the seventy-year-old man behind the counter who was working hard to live the American dream, who's probably just a little delusional, losing his mind. He's got dementia. He's in mid-sentence with Heather about faxing this over, and he walks away to help another person in the store. <laughs> So, um, that was just the icing on the cake. Oh, and Heather left her her coffee on the roof, and we drove away, and it spilled down the side, so. It fell um, off my roof, so I even lost my coffee. She lost her coffee, which is like So, basically, heroin. I'm a bitch today. Yeah, Heather's not in a good mood. But we're going to go and do some retail therapy, because that's what Heather likes. And today is just an extension of Mother's Day. Let's just, let's go with that. It's not just Mother's Day, it's Mother's Week for Heather. Heather's Mother's Week. How's that sound, babe? Perfect. I Re need it. Retail Let's therapy. I'm gonna jump in a bridge. <laughs> She's gonna jump off a bridge. What's up, kiddo? Are you confused? Are you confused about something? You pushing? <laughs> Are you still pushing? Are you still pushing? Is that better? Do you feel better? <laughs> He's working hard. Subscribe to my channel if you want to live. Lol.